Welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to introduce you to the idea of uninformed search. And so, you know, throughout this and the subsequent lectures, uh, these are some of the objectives. And so first we're going to start by introducing a generic search algorithm that's a little bit underspecified. And this is going to just help our basic way of thinking of this and point out to you where differences could be. The key idea in this generic graph searching algorithm is this notion of a frontier. And so the frontier is a list of nodes that we're going to be exploring next, hence the word frontier. So as a search proceeds, the frontier unexpands into the unexplored nodes. And, and this proceeds until the goal is encountered. And so it's all about the way in which uh, we, we select nodes from the frontier. This dictates the search strategy. And so to illustrate this really briefly, so we have an algorithm. We start at the start node. And just as you know, earlier you know, we drew out, hey, these are all the states. We start at the start state. And as things expand out, we make decision of what to expand out next. And so everything here in black is our things that have already been expanded. This is, these are the explored nodes. And then things that we are considering expanding next, those are in this frontier set. And then everything else is unexplored. We don't even know what they are because we haven't built out those nodes until we start expanding things in the frontier. And so to show some pseudocode for this, uh, you know, very simple. So we start with uh, the, the set of frontier nodes, which initially are just going to be the neighbors of uh, the initial start nodes that we have. And so while the frontier is not empty, so meaning that we have more stuff to explore, we're going to select and remove a path uh, from the frontier. And if the last node of that path happens to be a goal, then we return that path and we're done. Um, otherwise, for every neighbor of that last node in the path, we're going to add that neighbor to the frontier. How we pick which node of the frontier that we're going to look at next this dictates uh, the search strategy. And complexity and um, completeness will vary greatly just based on how we make this simple decision. And so, you know, so again, this is kind of getting to the point I just made. So which, uh, you know, what is selected from the frontier, that's how we define the search strategy. Now, one thing is we talk a bit about reaching the goal state. And so, again, thinking back to the Google Maps analogy, you are here at your current location. You just want to get to Tempe campus. Well. I can give you a valid solution that gets you from, say, Scottsdale to Tempe, but maybe causes you to first go all the way up to Flagstaff and then back down, which, you know, for those of you not from Arizona watching this, that's like adding, you know, an additional 10 hours on your trip unnecessarily. That would still get you to your goal, but it would clearly not be optimal. You'd waste a lot of gas, time, and, and just distance. So having this optimality criteria, such as limiting the distance, is key here. So next we'll go into some different ways of selecting nodes from the frontier set. 